Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Nelson. And I'm Lindsay Mills. Some of the asylum seekers who arrived in Portland about a month ago have moved out of the emergency shelter at the Expo. For now, they're going to call a Midcoast Town home, a place where other refugee families have started out before. This is no longer home for a dozen asylum seekers. For at least the next three months, they'll live here at the Brunswick Landing Development rent free thanks to the developer who donated the space. According to Brunswick's town manager, another 10 are expected to arrive before Friday of this week, and he's heard more want to move here too. Town Councilor Dan Ankeles acknowledges not all residents are supportive of this. In an email to New Center, Maine, he writes, We are all better off as a community when we face situations like this one with kindness and resolve. As town officials work with the school department to establish a task force, they're also getting help from local resources like the Midcoast New Mainers Support Group. We feel like for a town this size, we have the, um, the resources to adequately support these families. Joanne Rosenthal is a member of that group which formed three years ago. We support them through mentoring, through tutoring, through um, friendship. They work with a dozen volunteers who they train to work one-on-one -on -one with individual new Mainers. They help them with finding housing, medical care, jobs, and anything in between. There are some really meaningful connections that happen, um, not to mention a lot of the mentors are able to open doors for these folks. Already they've helped several refugee families who arrived in 2017. They've all gotten over the first hurdle of um, finding housing, employment, they're in the schools. Um, I would say for the most part they're um, pretty much independent financially. She hopes that their success so far shows welcoming new Mainers is possible. And Brunswick Town Council is scheduled to discuss the arrival of asylum seekers at its city council meeting happening tonight. That's where Midcoast New Mainers support group hopes to get more direction on how they can help.